Okay. In this video, I will enhance end user experience a little bit and I will enable Windows integrated authentication to be used with Active Directory Federation services. So whenever I will use Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer, it will use Windows integrated authentication uh, with ADF for, for ADFS and I don't have to provide my password. There will be no login box like previous video where I tried to use Microsoft Edge and it gave me a dialog box where I have to or login dialog box where I have to type my username and well as password. So the first thing first I log into this Windows 10 machine and let's use a UPN. It doesn't have to be but so itsense.net Okay, so to configure Microsoft Edge for, uh, uh, to use, to configure Microsoft Edge to use uh, Windows integrated authentication for ADFS, uh, you can do that through group policy or change settings on machine itself. As I have just one testing machine, I have done it locally and it's very simple. All you have to do is just make sure that your ADFS service URL is added in local intranet sites. So, all I have to do is go to control panel, right? all control panel items, internet options security tab local intranet sites before that just see i haven't changed the security levels it's all set to default i don't have to change anything for security levels so local intranet sites i unchecked this box and under advanced i added my adfs service url which is https fs.itsense.net that's it once ADFS site will be treated as a local internet site, Windows authent integrated authentication can work, right? Because you can use or we can use Windows integrated authentication for our local internet. So let's open Microsoft Edge. Please bear with me, internet is a bit slow. I'm on my Wi Fi. Uh, so you will get some timeouts or something. But it's not related to configuration or anything it's just my internet is playing very bad today okay login page it detect that i log into this machine as ad user one and itsense.net yes sign in now watch this please watch the url carefully it changes to login.microsoftonline.com and that changed to my adfs which is fs.itsense.net and then it's changed it back to microsoft login and then to office.com and if everything goes well I should be able to log into office 365 which looks like I have already but the dent is a bit slower site but anyway we'll give give it time and see Come on. As you can see, I have logged in. No username and password to provide. Just to make it a little bit more smoother, I know my internet is very bad. If I say sign out, see, hang on a moment, sign out. It will sign me out for my ADFS as well. So it means I was signed in, right? 
but unfortunately the internet is playing really bad so the way I wanted to show you wasn't that smooth see if that's okay all right so let's close this let's open this again hopefully this time we'll get lucky and get smoother experience so office.com yes sign is as ad user run watch the url from office to login.microsoft online that should change to adfs url and then change it back to office log in and r2 and that's it see it did not prompt me for username and password because of integrated windows authentication as you can see here, I'm logged in as AD user one at IT sense stuff. Perfect. Right? So integrated authentication works with Microsoft Edge. For Google Chrome, it will not work because Google Chrome, maybe there is a way to do that, but, but I I'm not aware of it. I haven't digged into it. Uh, of course, for Edge and Explorer, that comes with client and Microsoft OS and uh, typically you, I mean you have a group policies to, to configure this there must be some way to configure Chrome as well but I haven't checked so for Chrome the experience I'm expecting to be a little different I'm expecting to get a form based authentication similar like previous video when I tried to use Chrome so sign in ID user one yes please sign me in and yes it give me a dfs form based authentication where i have to type my password it was unable to detect my password right because it was simply unable to use windows integrated authentication so So I sign in, then put you your token, authenticate against me, authenticate me against AD, generates a token, validate it, and they are set it to uh, Office 365. I would say it's still sign in, that's fine. And we go. Same machine, two different browsers. And two different experience the way user signed. So this is why I wanted to sh show you that with slight change by adding your ADFS service URL to local internal, you can use Windows integrated authentication for your ADFS with Office 365. So it will be very seamless and users don't have to type their credentials or anything. All right. Thank you once again. Please don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. Take it easy.